You did. Yes. Yes, take that one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Trash. Hello, everyone! How am I gonna explain my makeup now? I mean, the good part is I don't necessarily feel like I have to explain this makeup because you guys know what's happening on this channel. This makeup look is actually inspired by uh, Ellie. I show you her Instagram right here. In this video, we're gonna buy an air fryer. I mean, I actually bought an air fryer. Good news. Listen, guys, listen, listen. The amount of time I've been considering if I wanna buy an air fryer or not, it's my whole life long. And now I finally bought one because I was like, maybe I can actually do it for YouTube. And that's my excuse to buy an air fryer because there are so many cool recipes you can do with an air fryer. I also had very, very bad experiences with deep frying in my life before. <laughs> So I feel like an air fryer would be like a very safe option for me. It will just, you know, save my life probably because then I don't have to keep deep frying with a lot of hot oil, you know? And in this video, I will test out the best, the bestest of the bestest air fryer recipes with you. And I picked a lot actually, but we're going to quite some recipes in this video because the good thing is they will not take much time, but they will still be like really good, I promise you. So we're gonna have to jump back in time because I've been making these recipes for the whole week. I'm gonna take you with me on my air fryer journey. So have fun watching this video and let's rewind time when i first got the air fryer all right guys so today we're going to be making today we're going to be making ratatouille in the air fryer <laughs> i know it sounds wrong it really sounds wrong but we're still gonna make it anyway <laughs> so this is a recipe from aaron and claire a really cute couple and they make videos about food. I mean, technically Erin makes the food and Claire tastes it. And she actually made ratatouille in an air fryer. And I mean, it's kind of the lazy way, obviously, like the quick way. And I don't even know if I've ever tried ratatouille. I don't think I did. It's so funny how I say ratatouille when in German it's ratatouille. It's actually the right pronunciation in German, right? So we're gonna be making ratatouille. Ratatouille. <laughs> And this is actually also the first time I'm using the air fryer. I just bought it. Here he is. I've never used it before. I'm so excited. Oh my god. First of all, we're gonna be cutting all of our vegetables. A zucchini, tomatoes, a bell pepper, and an eggplant. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think I've never ever included an eggplant in my cooking process. <laughs> I don't even think I've ever bought an eggplant before. But me and my mom, we always said it kind of looks like our first guinea pig. <laughs> and when we were at the grocery store, we always did like this. Because I... <laughs> So I know from the movie Ratatouille that you are supposed to cut it very, very, um, um, uh, you know, <laughs> thin. So I'm gonna try my best as a chef. I just gotta make all of them look like this. I'm getting there. Okay, it's okay if it's not super thin. Oh, actually, I'm like getting into it, guys. Excuse you, Naomi Chef Koch, Dr. Mrs. Chef Koch, Naomi Johnster. Oh my God. No! <laughs> and this, we're just gonna eat. Oh, no. I think you're supposed to use a yellow pepper. This bell pepper is a little big. Okay, I gotta improvise. My knife sucks. Oh. All right, everyone, so here's the trick. You're gonna wanna use some random tomato sauce. Doesn't matter what it is, just some tomato sauce. Maybe some garlic tomato sauce. Vincent, do you think I can use a um, cake baking form for this? All right, everyone, I found a solution. I just put some of the aluminum foil in there so the sauce doesn't leak. <laughs> so smart. Then I'm also gonna put a little bit of garlic in there. Let's start with the eggplant. Do I do it like that? I don't even, how do you stick this? Beautiful. 
I'm stacking all my vegetables on top of each other. I'm done. This is gonna be the cherry on top. All right, so here's my ratatouille. This is what it looks like. I still have a lot of vegetables left. And now we're just gonna drizzle some of this oil, salt and pepper, Italian herbs mixture on top. Oh my God, it's an emoji, look. Yeah. Oh my God. 100, <laughs> 170 degrees, 20 minutes. <laughs> Ooh. So now the finishing touch of the smoothie. Oh. We don't have plates anymore. They're all in the dishwasher. <laughs> oh, actually, <laughs> we have some of these. Naomi, this looks so good. Do you think so? Mine looks like soup, but yours looks pretty. This is my air fryer ratatiti. Oh, what a queen. Naomi, this is so good. Yeah, the vegetables are still like a little bit crunchy, which is good because my mom always used to say, if it's still a little crunchy, then it still has all the vitamins. Grandma always used to cook everything like completely soft, like basically mushed. I loved it. So it's Vincent approved. I can't believe I actually made something that's Vincent approved. Are you sure it doesn't taste old? So guys, this recipe is definitely Naomi and Vincent approved. That's bothering. I mean, it does take quite some time to cut all the vegetables, obviously, but this is probably the quickest ratatouille you will ever make. Actually, guys, we like it this much. We're gonna do a second batch with all of the vegetables that were left. Would recommend if you like vegetables. <laughs> Hello. So today we're gonna be making something for breakfast and it's also a recipe from Erin and Claire and it's gonna be egg toast. Your bread of choice. Condensed milk. Skuzhenaya malako. I think this is also optional. Ah! Apparently you could also just like um, leave out the step or you put mayonnaise with some sugar on it. Ooh! Oh my God, that's fucking delicious. Yeah, I still have a lot actually. Maybe I can make a cool drink. Tell me some recipes, please. Now we're gonna add a piece of ham. I actually never buy ham. But I wanted to do it for the special occasion. And now we're gonna take this lid off and make a thick coat of mayonnaise on the outside. Um. <laughs> I feel like it's not high enough. Oh my god, that's so much mayonnaise. Now we're gonna place the egg in the middle. Uh, no, we're leaking. It's fine. Ah. Oh, the sun. Thanks, Vincent. Slide. All right, let's slide it in and hope nothing happens in there. Why is it so dusty? Okay, so we're gonna do 180 degrees and we're gonna do eight minutes. Eight minutes have passed. Let's see what she looks like. <laughs> oh, so here it is. It actually looks really good. You playing with my lip gloss? <laughs> oh no, Aaron's egg yolk was still runny in his video. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Just the saltiness of the ham and the egg together with the condensed milk. I would say it's definitely maybe a little bit too much mayo for my taste. Guys, this is 100% me approved. 100%? Yes. You just said it's too much mayo. I'm so glad. Vincent's always here to expose my fakeness. See you later when I try the next thing. Hello. So now we're gonna be making pasta chips. It is definitely also a kind of a TikTok trend i've seen it very very much on my tiktok and it's literally just cooking your noodles seasoning them and then putting them in the air fryer so you get pasta chips i just really want to try because people are like very very excited about this recipe i got an air fryer now so i better try this am i right so i already cooked my noodles i cooked my hernchen noodles i mean it's not noodles i always say noodles but it's pasta just to explain myself pasta in german is nudeln we can also say pasta obviously but like most people say nudeln so that's why i sometimes just say noodles out of reflex the hernchen Pasta. And I also got some macaroni in there because Vincent wanted to get rid of his macaroni because he didn't want to eat them anymore. So now we're just gonna put in a good amount of oil. This bitch needs to be coated. I'm gonna put some salt, some pepper, some Italian kräuter. 
What else am I gonna put in some mushroom spice? I'm actually gonna put a little bit of paprika in there too. Sorry. Let's put it into the air fryer. Oh, it feels kind of wrong to just put it in there. I forgot Parmesan. <laughs> Let's actually do five minutes and then I'm gonna shake it a little bit and then I'm gonna do five minutes more. Okay, everyone, we are done now. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of oil coming out. Wait. I still gotta figure out this whole air fryer system. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Honestly, it smells divine. Very, very delicious. Oh, it smells like a pizzeria in here. Oh. Close. I also made a little uh, ricotta dip with uh, some ricotta, <laughs> <laughs> some oil, some lemon zest, some lemon juice, some honey, and some, uh, you know, salt and pepper and herbs. <laughs> so let's try with Vincent's bottom in the bath. <coughs> well, guys, it's like eating pasta before you cook them. It's okay, but not as amazing as the people described. Yeah. It. I mean, I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> the ones that are not crunchy really are gross. Look, it's a macaroni in the Hernchen pasta. Hernchen pasta is preggers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hype you up. Eat it. Yes. Yes, take that one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. If you like a good crunch, make these and leave them in for a little bit longer. But also, I don't get the hype. I think people just want to invent stuff nowadays. Cheers with my macaroni. Let's do our next recipe. So it is dinner time now and we're going to be making sotok sotok. It's also a recipe from Erin and Claire's video. For this, we obviously need rice cakes. I'm already soaking them in hot water or like warm water. We obviously need skewers. I think you typically use like a little bit of a thicker bamboo skewer but i only have these shashlik spice and it's important that you also soak these in cold water before you put them in the air fryer otherwise um it will catch fire. <laughs> For the sauce, we of course need one tablespoon of the Korean chili paste, gochujang. Look, I even bought American tablespoons now. Hey, is it just American? I feel like this is like a thing everywhere on earth, just not in Germany. <laughs> this is a little bit hard to handle, guys. A half tablespoon of soy sauce, a half tablespoon of oyster sauce, three tablespoons of ketchup, Oh, one tablespoon of sugar. <laughs> and we need a little bit of corn syrup, but I don't have corn syrup, so I'm just gonna use agave dick saft of Mexico. Oh God, I forgot garlic. And now we're gonna start skewing. I already cut some sausages. They may be a little big for my rice cakes. I mean, obviously my rice cakes are very small. That's not pretty. Vincent, do you know why these are called sotok sotok? Because you have sausage and tok, which is rice cake in Korean. And then you have sotok sotok. <laughs> Very gently. I just wish I had some bigger rice cakes. All right, so here are my sotok sotok. I'm actually pretty scared because the skewers already felt a little dry. So I'm just gonna hope that I'm gonna burn this whole thing down. I'm just gonna brush some oil on top. Oh, I'm just using the oil I already used for frying all of my <laughs> frying projects. 180 degrees. In seven minutes. The house is still not burning, which is good. Queen of always forgetting her nibbled on cork piece. <laughs> I wonder who it was. Me. Vincent loves to nibble cork. All right, we're now gonna start brushing on the sauce we just made. I got a lot of sauce for not a lot of fry skewers. Rice. Chili's <laughs> mm. looking at my rice cake skewers. All right, we're gonna put it in for two more minutes, two or three more minutes, and then we can eat. All right, and here they are. Look. Mmm, I like it, Vincent. I like it. It's a little bit sweet, but also spicy. It has a chewy texture and a little bit of a crunchy, soft texture with the sausage. Is this your favorite food ever? Try this even if you don't have an air fryer. I think you can also just like pan fry it. Mmm, it's like crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. Just like me. Do you mm. want to eat it with some mango? It's probably really yummy. Now with mango. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Can I have more? <laughs> this 
is my dessert with mango. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it is the next day. I'm in the middle of doing makeup, as you can see, but I have decided it's time for an afternoon snack. I want to make s'mores in the air fryer. The idea or the video where I found it is actually from Fabulously Frugal. She makes a lot of air frying videos. I actually never made s'mores before. I mean, normally you just make them in the oven. Well, this is apparently a very quick way to do it. Literally, all we're gonna do is put some marshmallows in here. And then I'm also gonna put some um, dark chocolate in there and maybe also some, um, uh, normal chocolate. What is it called? Milk chocolate? I'm just gonna cut this in like a little bit smaller pieces. Ooh, that is satisfying. And I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> also some of the milk chocolate. I'm also gonna crumble some of these uh, cookies on there. That's kind of satisfying. I don't know. I've never made s'mores. Cool. And now we're gonna do four minutes and 170 degrees Celsius. Let's see what happens. Am I right? <gasps> oh, mmm, <no>. oh. <laughs> I'm gonna eat all of that. <laughs> mm, pure sugar. Vincent is here to try my s'mores. That's for you. <laughs> uh, that's so much, my. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a s'mores type of girl. I think this is totally up my alley. Mm. I recommend. Okay, everyone, we're gonna be making potato balls now, which is kind of the equivalent of my cheese balls I once attempted on my channel. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. We're gonna make maybe an easier version, definitely a quicker version, and definitely a safer version today. Ah! I have boiled my potatoes. All we gotta do is mesh them with my fork because I don't have a potato masher. I have mashed my potatoes faster than you can say mashed potatoes. And now we're gonna add some potato starch. I think this is optional. Maybe like one or two teaspoons, tablespoons. So now we should have something like that. It looks a little bit doughy and we're gonna form balls. Here's our first ball. I'm just gonna make a little dent in there to put the cheese in. I have bad experiences with uh, leaking cheese, so I'm a little scared. Ooh. Right here we got a little factory for the potato balls. We're gonna put them into flour, roll them in there, then into the egg wash, and then into the breadcrumbs. And then I'm just gonna put them straight into the air dryer. And guys, guess what? There was also like a little recipe book coming with the air fryer. And I found a cool recipe in there. It's fried pickles. A German gebraten Essigurken. And I was thinking while I'm like doing this for the potato balls, I can also make one of the little pickles. We are going to dry our pickles real good. Oh yeah. And then I'm obviously also going to do the same as I just did, but just with pickles. All right, so here they are. Look at my potato balls and there are my pickles hiding. By the way, I'm using my frying oil again. And we just gotta be very gentle because we don't want the breadcrumbs to fall off, obviously. We're just gonna dab it on. And now all that's left to do is to air fry them at 180 degrees in for 10 minutes. Oops, what did I just do? All right, let's see what they'll look like. <laughs> got a little sauce. This is still from my um, pasta chips, but I mix it with a little bit of whipped cream. Where's the cheese? Mm -hmm. Let's try the pickle. Mm -hmm. It's also really good with my dip. My dip is a little bit sweet and I mean pickles and sweet, it just works. But I think I should have done a second coating. And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire Hot. So just a reminder for myself, next time more cheese and more seasoning. And that, my friends, are all the recipes for this video.
All right, that was my air fryer journey. And I also wanna know, do you have any good recipes for the air fryer for me? Because obviously there's still so much more I can do. So much more. I actually still have some recipes on my list, but obviously I can't do like 20 recipes in this video. But let me know if you want another one of these videos. Let me know everything, let me know. How was your day? Let me know. As a resume, I gotta say my favorite recipe was probably the sotok soto. Oh, and the s'mores were also really good. But I also love the egg toast. You really have to try these if you have an air fryer. If you don't, I'm pretty sure you can also make them in the oven, just not is quick <laughs> but that's it for this video don't forget to follow me on all of my social media which is naomi john on instagram naomi john on tiktok and the naomi john on twitter oh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next air frying video the next one is not gonna be an air frying video or actual <laughs> no 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 don't worry about it <laughs> i'm gonna go ow that is very awkward because i don't have like can't That's a long way.